The video on this page will show you how to load ribbon into the printer. Start by opening the front door and media cover. If you are installing the ribbon on a PX6i model, you will need to pull down the locking handle. This does not apply to the PX4i or PA30 models. Turn the printhead lift lever counter or anti-clockwise to raise the printhead. Remove any unused ribbon and the empty ribbon core. Don't throw the empty core away, as it will be attached to the end of the ribbon and used on the ribbon rewind hub. Adjust the ribbon supply bobbin for the size of ribbon you are using. If your ribbon is 55 to 60 millimeters, 2.16 to 2.3 inches wide, compress the ribbon supply bobbin and move it so it snaps into the first innermost groove. The 88 to 90 millimeter, 3.5 inch wide ribbon uses the second groove. And when using the 110 millimeters, 4.3 inches wide ribbon, snap the ribbon supply bobbin into the third outermost groove. Press the ribbon roll onto the ribbon supply bobbin and route the ribbon through the printer unit. Pull out 20 centimeters, 8 inches of ribbon. Without releasing the ribbon, turn the printhead lift lever clockwise to lower the printhead and lock the ribbon. Attach the old core to the end of the ribbon. Run the ribbon over the top of the print mechanism and press the core onto the rewind hub. Turn the printhead lift lever counter or anti-clockwise to raise the printhead. Wind the ribbon until the entire transparent leader has passed the printhead and the ribbon becomes tight. Assuming that there is already media in the printer, turn the printhead lift lever clockwise to lower the printhead. If media needs to be loaded, don't perform this step and the following two steps. If you have installed the ribbon on a PX6i model, you will need to push up the locking handle. This does not apply to the PX4i or PA30 models. Close the front door and media cover. Make sure that the media runs through the slot in the front door. Press the feed button to advance the media and adjust the media feed. Tear off the media by grabbing the outer edge and pulling it downwards. Thanks for watching. Look for other support videos as they become available.